So welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang. And today my gift to you is, you know, this curse clearing, very powerful meditation. Where we will go over a laundry list you know, of false light templates, negative programs, spells, curses, hate. In my work with my clients, I have to clear, you know, things that um, hinder the spiritual progress and happiness of my clients. And um, that's how I come across all kinds of spells and curses that have been mostly accumulated in past lifetimes. So let us say that you, you were a rich slaver. You know, this could have been in the American South, you know, cotton picking or um, you know, somebody um, that helped in temple construction, that had a construction company or um, gladiators. And uh, you were cruel to them. You beat them and when they couldn't work anymore, you stopped feeding them because it was cheaper. I've come across several past lifetimes with people like this. Now, those slaves they're probably cursed under their breath and sent hate in every day of their miserable life to their cruel masters. And some of them may have, you know, used a more formalized, ritualized, refined uh, magic according to their traditions. There's incantations and um, other implements and sometimes even entities you know, that were um, tasked you know, to haunt and harass the cruel slave owner, like angry dogs or poisonous snakes, maybe insects, mm -hmm, depending on their skill. And um, But most basically, these angry slaves did not go to the heavens and they you know, spent their time getting even you know, with the following incarnations uh, <laughs> of this cruel slave owner. So that's the nature of spells and curses. It doesn't have to be, you know, a bunch of witches like, <laughs> you know, putting together something. No, uh, many times these are very, let's say, justified <laughs> actions from people that, um, you know, that's the only way to get even you know, with those that are abusing their power. So, uh, you know, it's um, quite important. Now, of course, in the following guided meditation, uh, we will not go over every little case. That uh, would be too much, you know, especially not um, blind. You know, this is a shotgun meditation. So that would be done in a personal session. Yeah, but um, here we will ask whether you have been affected by a certain curse. And then we asked whether you uh, affected others in this or past lifetimes with this curse, maybe even your ancestors. And then um, we will, you know, ask for forgiveness or give forgiveness. And we ask the divine beings like Source, Lord Jesus, or Archangel Michael, whoever you have faith in and that you trust and who can do the job, we ask them to clear it. And if you feel lighter afterwards, or if you see certain things, um, you mostly um, have been cleared. So, um, just um, close your eyes. Uh, now, before we go on, <laughs> um, <coughs> Let's uh, ask, you know, that everything that happens in and from this session here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benign outcomes. Um, and um, do not drive or operate heavy machinery. And we ask that to be completely protected. We ask Archangel Michael to surround you with his energies. Me too. And uh, we also ask that you only accept what resonates with you mm -hmm. and reject what doesn't not resonate with you. Now some of you want to sit, 
have a higher connection with heaven and earth. You run more energy and you know, stay conscious and aware. And if some of you want to lay down and most likely pass out, you can have a deeper relaxation like this. Both of them are good. And again, we ask that you know, um, these meditations that we're doing here will impact you know, us to, to propel us into the best and highest timelines. Mm -hmm. Amen. And again, we ask our spirit guides and the divine angels of love and light to um, put a bubble of protection around us as well as our place of residence, wherever you are. Amen. And let's hook up with Mother Earth. So, smile, 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 smile. Don't offend Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. And imagine that on the inhale you Inhale her love, pull it all the way up through your root chakra and through your legs into the top of your body and on the exhale you send your energy back all the way to Mother Earth. Consider this like a chi exchange. Deep breathing, tongue to the palate. Deep breathing all the way in and then all the way out. The best image for this is like the wave at the ocean. Beach. Rolling up. And down. Mm -hmm. And we ask the spirit guides and Mother Earth to clear any sabotage, any trauma, any blocks and resistances, even dark technology, like chips, implants, and screens, frequency screens, and pulsed vibration that disconnect us from the Earth Mother, also spells vows and curses and black magic. Amen, Amen, Amen. And there's, you got to agree to this, and it kicks in within about five seconds. Yeah. Hmm. And we ask the spirit guides to please optimize our routing system. And if we have divine counterparts in the subterranean the arms that are approved by our high self, we ask them to hook us into the positive ley lines and crystal grids now. Again, clear any parasites from our grids. And also upload now the latest and best um, updates for us. Um, and of course, again, clear us from all the dark probes and trauma that disconnects us from Gaia. Right? In Earth life, so many times it's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> this is too harsh, you know? especially us star hoppers. Mm -hmm. So then we disconnect. Our foot chakra is so closed, root chakra is closed, and you have no life force. You don't want to get out of bed in the morning. And if it's for our highest good, we also ask that we be plugged into the subterranean social memory complex for emotional balance, peace. Um, um, um. Let's also invite some friends like a unicorn. Please bring some rainbows around our heart and space. And I like the dolphins for their playfulness. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they are just playful and happy. Mm -hmm. The giggly energy, yeah, please come too. Amen. And we asked Mother Earth to grow roots around us like a big bubble and inner sanctuary that she keeps safe. And we also invite plant spirits, divine plant spirit, the rose, the lotus, and the Tulsi Devi, holy basil. Amen. Amen. 
Mm -hmm. Smile, 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 and we connect to the star nations where we're from, where we're homesick. Make sure you still have your tongue at the template. And have you asked Milky Way Galaxy and the star nation where we're from, you know, to clear all the templates from our crown chakra that, or chakras, you know, they go all the way up to six feet to two meters above the head to clear all the templates that disconnect us from our high self and prevent them from being re-implanted permanently. Um, and we also demand that those entities that keep re-implanting or trying to re-implant um, any disturbances, any chips, anything that supposed to disconnect us from our divine guidance, taken to the courts of divine justice. It's a standing order. Your sovereign being, we do not allow this kind of tempering. Amen. <clears throat> And also clear any jinn programs, spells, curses, and implants that block our divine calling as being a healer, a prophet, or a channel. And then also make this permanent so that any sabotage cannot be back in space, in place. And then please activate our Stargate codes and hook us up to the Stargate through which we can get support, help, nourishment, protection, and guidance. Amen, amen, amen. And we invite Archangel Michael the protector from the Judeo-Christian traditions, but then there are also other protectors in different traditions, like not the Sinhadev, we invite him, and of course also Trimurti, this is Lord Shiva, Vishnu, and Lord Brahma, um, and Absolute Source. Now smile, 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 and... <laughs> Don't embarrass me here. Mm -hmm. Inhale their love, send your love back. And let's go to the curses. Oh yeah, first of all, you gotta get the yes or no response. A yes is generally of upflow of energy, a positive energy of flow from the heart to the head. Please give us a yes now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And a no is the energy flow from the heart to the feet. Feels like a downer. We asked High Self to give us a no now. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for some of you, you might be even to be able to see your High Self and can maybe get a thumbs up or down or uh, there are other ways. Um, some people, the yes is a twitch on the right side, and the no is a twitch on the left side, or whatever. Well, first of all, is there a curse on you to always attract bad customers? Yes. No. Did you or your ancestors affect others to always attract bad customers? Yes or no? And now we ask Source to please clear these spells and curses. I don't think they help anybody. Amen. Amen. So let's widen that circle. <laughs> and let's ask whether there is kind of like a sticker program on you that attracts nefarious entities, dark entities like gargoyles, vampiristic entities. Mm -hmm. Anything like this? 
Yes or no? And did we put stickers and curses like this onto others? Yes or no? And you like to have this cleared on both sides of the fence. Amen, amen, amen. So, we talked about in previous videos that there are certain curses that are like stickers on your back that say, like, kick me, as we did at school. Now, um, curses can act similarly, you know, like stickers. And one of those stickers I have come across, you know, with people that are trying to become independent, so many healers, readers, mm -hmm, that they attract bad customers. So is there a sticker with you that makes you attract bad customers? Yes or no? Did you or your ancestors put a sticker or curse onto others to attract bad customers? Yes or no? And probably most of these are just you know, business competition <laughs> from past lifetimes from the market or whatever. And now we ask the divine beings and source to please clear those stickers, clear those curses, clear the trauma around this. There's plenty of suffering on the world. We don't need more. Um, um, um. So another, you know, sticker or curse happens when you get sacrificed, you know, to the dark side. There are parents or grandparents that sacrifice, you know, give up the grandchild or that child, you know, to the dark side as a sacrifice. It doesn't mean they get killed. It's just a ritual that's done. And that acts so that attracts constantly nefarious entities. Um, but, you know, it can also be just a normal sticker. So, um, is there a sticker like you to attract nefarious dark entities? Yes or no? And did you... Or your ancestors do this to others? Yes or no? Well, we are very sorry. We forgive. We ask for forgiveness. We like to have this cleared now as much as possible without us having to look at the details. Amen, amen, amen. Keep on smiling and stay focused in your heart. Stay in your heart. When you talk to divine beings, always stay in your heart. Mm -hmm. Question is, are there spells or curses on you that turn good intention into bad outcomes for you? You know, it's like those genie stories. Yeah, you got three wishes and then they're all turn horribly sideways. <laughs> so, um, are you cursed like that? Yes or no? Did we curse others like this? Yes or no? And then we like to have those cleared pretty, please. Amen, amen, amen. Now, another interesting thing I found out, you know, diving deep into past lifetimes, was in this world when people were in position of authority, like Egypt, you know, doing big magic, 
So there were certain uh, populations or tribes that were considered trouble. You know, they just did a lot of black magic. You know, they were very aggressive, hostile, very disruptive. And so a certain spell and curse was put onto them, like I call it the Rolling Stone um, spell, so that they would never settle. You know, and contaminate and holy, you know, a whole area. You know, always on the move, like the Roma. Mm -hmm. Always moving, you know, so um, never be able to settle. Of course, this was put onto tribes or even onto individuals, you know, or bloodlines. Right? So always an outsider, never settle. Mm -hmm. Are you affected by a spell or curse like this? Yes or no? Were you or your ancestors involved in putting spells and curses like this onto others? Yes or no? And we like to have this clear, pretty, pretty place. You know, we need a lot of grace for this. And a lot of suffering has been created. So we like to have as much of that suffering be cleared as possible without us having to look at the details right now. Um, um, um. Now, many of my clients come to me with the feeling of being stuck, of being trapped, mm -hmm. in many different ways. Let's just go over it, you know, piece by piece. So, and for a place, you know, sometimes being stuck in a place, um, there are obligations, you know, of in past lifetimes, um, we, you know, owned the castle or the farm, and didn't move on, or we were um, part of a tribe of natives that got wiped out. It happened a lot in Australia and North America. Come across this quite a lot, where the Aborigines got wiped out and. Um, you know, some work has to be done, um, or there are other spells and curses, you know, or even vows hmm, that keep you in a place. Okay, so um, are there any sticker vows or curses unto you to be stuck in a place? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Did you or your ancestors curse others? To be stuck in a place, yes or no? And we are so sorry, you know, we forgive now and we like to have this cleared. Amen, amen, amen. And of course, so many of you, you know, feel stuck in a job, in your career not going anywhere, not happy. And uh, there could be reasons, there could have been bindings from others, that uh, maybe in other lifetime were your slave masters and um, they put these binding spells on you that you always be serving them and be their bitch, so to say. Or there may have even been vows to always serve your master lifetime after lifetime. In certain traditions, this was required or this was enforced. Yeah, so um, <laughs> are there spells, curses or vows that keep you stuck in your job against your highest good? Yes or no? Did we curse? or spell others to be stuck in a job, to be subservient, for instance, yes or no. And we're so sorry this happened, 
we forgive, we ask for forgiveness, and we like to have this cleared now. Um, um. And of course, so many also feel that they're stuck in a relationship. <laughs> Yeah, you know, unsatisfactory relationship, I would have to say. Of course, the grass always looks a little greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. But uh, being stuck in a relationship can be due to vows. Oh, I'm going to be with you forever and ever and ever and ever. You know, I will not leave you. I will always be with you. I cannot live without you. Vows like this. And very sincere. <laughs> or um, also, um, you know, there have been sp special bindings and curses like you cannot live without me, you will never be happy without me, you will always be with me, you will always love me. Mm -hmm. All these glamours and binding spells that keep you stuck. Well, um, is your relationship affected by vows or curses like this? Yes or no? And did you bind others with spells and curses like this? Yes or no? And we like to have this cleared now. Um, um. Um, on both sides of the fence, pretty please, yes. And smile and project love. Mm -hmm. People that work with me know how to project source love, otherwise pull it in from heaven and earth and push it out front on the exhale. Okay, so... Um, the next kind of spell, I could call it a loneliness spell. Generally um, done out of envy. Let's say somebody is the focus and center of attention and the wallflower gets so jealous and, mm -hmm, and uh, maybe does a switcheroo where we switch destiny or you just um, curse them to be lonely so they know how you feel <laughs> and of course you may want to even absorb their popularity because that is no good and uh, sometimes we even did vows to be secluded as the yogis or monks mm -hmm, or medicines you know, giving up all the family attachment, giving up social contact, just focus on source, just focus on spiritual enlightenment. You know, very severe vows have been done and promises. So are you, a, are you lonely or feel lonely because of these type of spells and curses? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And... Um, did you put these kinds of spells and curses onto others? You know, sometimes this was even to disempower our enemies. Ah, lonely means no friends, no support, means no power, not a challenge in future lifetimes. All right, so you like to have this all cleared, pretty please, as much as can be done now without us having to look at the details. Um, um, um. That means they can always do something. And of course, some of that stuff may have to be looked at. Now, a big, big, big curse. Many times this has happened, maybe not so formal, but... Uh, yeah, um, who didn't feel abandoned by lovers, by their parents that were too busy, or in the army? You know, you wounded, they just leave you behind, or they just run. <laughs> and you're stuck. Mm -hmm. But especially by lovers <coughs> or by business partners. And of course, abandonment, you know, always brings a lot of suffering. So, is there still trauma with you? 
about being abandoned or when you got abandoned? Did you curse others or did others curse you because you abandoned them? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And if you really sincerely apologize, send love, smile, and say and think, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Please forgive me, please forgive me, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. and please clear the spells and curses. And most likely these beings are stuck as ghosts on the astral plane somewhere. We asked proper ascension teams of love and light to bring them to the Arcturian love feeling and ascension temples and help them ascend now. Amen. 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 Now, the next spell or curse I come across is quite a lot. <clears throat> In so many wars, you know, after the city got conquered, it was the, the uh, duty of the soldiers to go and rape and pillage. Right? So many times the whole family was killed and raped, probably in a different order, in front of well, the wife, the husband, whatever. And, um, you know, or they were taken as slaves mm -hmm, or sacrificed. And um, either the survivors or why this was happening, of course, they cursed those beings that did this, believe me, you know, with great enthusiasm, anger, and hate. Everything they got. <laughs> Believe me. Mm -hmm. And of course, they, most of the time, they don't go into the heavens, you know, too angry, too attached for revenge. And they follow you around, and the curses or the intent that they're putting out, mm -hmm. you took my kids away, and this also applies to slavers. You took my wife away, and you took my family away, and I make sure that you never enjoy these things. You know? Did they make something tragic happen? You know? Or you don't even get them, always long for them. Whatever it is, you know, what you did to them, somehow they want to spoil for you too. Mm -hmm. So are you affected by beings, spells and curses like this? Yes or no? Are there aspects of you that are also vengeful still and, you know, put spells and curses, you know, and harass as angry ghost? Yes or no? And we ask now that they all be cleared. Mm -hmm. Spells and curses, thought forms, vows, promises, but then also clear the entities that are stuck, bring them to the Arcturian love feeling and ascension temples. Amen, amen, amen. And, um, well, <laughs> again, um, you know, there are curses to always, like, have bad kids, <laughs> bad horses, bad pets, generally something done out of jealousy from others, mm -hmm. have stuff that breaks down, or losing and separation from kids. Again, you know, much of it is earned through to slavery. So anything about bad kids, losing kids, being separated from kids, um, on you, yes or no. Oh uh, yeah, and also is there trauma on you around being separated from kids? A lot of blackmail was done like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and have you been cursed like that? Have 
you cursed others like that? And we ask the divine beings and absolute souls to please clear these karmas, these pain, these entities that are still stuck on these traumas. Amen, amen, amen. Clear those curses and spells and dark thought Now, many of you also have experienced, you know, um, a deja vu in the form, yeah, you know, this happens again and again and again, the same calamity. It's, I call it karmic loops. Now, sometimes they were done by skilled magicians, um, but many times by dark entities like, you know, the, the Grace, the Draco, the Dark Anunnaki. Mm -hmm. You know, to put people unnecessary, you know, through karmic loops of suffering. You know, Sisyphus, you know, in the Greek mythology, the one that, you know, had to roll this boulder up the hill, and when he was nearly done, it always rolled back again. Mm -hmm. That would be a karmic loop, you know, or you're getting your liver eaten by eagle every day. That would be a karmic loop. So, are you affected by dark karmic loops, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Have you been affecting others with dark karmic loops, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Now, we ask for forgiveness and we give forgiveness, yeah, but and then those, you know, that don't want to clear those karmic loops, we like to have them taken to the courts of divine justice now. It doesn't matter whether they're from our soul or other builders' soul. Mm -hmm. That has to stop. So even if they're like dark Anunnaki, high on the pecking order, you know, if there are beings that completely outrank them and we like them to take care of this and take those to justice. And amen, amen, amen. and protect us also from their wrath and revenge onto us. Oh. <laughs> now another spell or curse that I constantly come across is you know, the one of having no power. So, in upper classes, you know, when there was political intrigue, and where there was military competition, you know, where the powerful ones, even magicians, you know, sorcerers, priests. Mm -hmm. So, um, power was always an issue. You know, people wanted to steal your power, first of all, if you had power, especially the dark or jealous magicians. Mm -hmm. Or, um, you know, um, the opposition, many times, um, like the government or the established, you know, religious order, the corporate religions, um, this is how they dealt, you know, with so-called offenders. Like in Egypt, uh, when you, um, you know, were a murderer or abused your power, not only did you get killed or tortured or incarcerated, but they also put a whole bunch of, I call them government spells, <laughs> onto people like government cheese. You know, a government spell is a pre-made package of keeping you disempowered in future incarnations. Mm -hmm. Maybe even keeping you in karmic loops. So you knew, you know, if you do this and that in those societies, you not only get punished in your physical body, like you get your hand chopped off, but you also get cursed in a certain way that's hopefully appropriate to your crime. Mm -hmm. 
And so, yeah, um, having no power for political enemies of you or for rebels, you know, whose message you didn't want to get out was a big part of that. And so, um, has your power been stolen or cursed you know, in this and other lifetimes? Yes or no? And did you steal or curse the power of others in this or past lifetimes? Yes or no? So we ask that those beings that did this now uh, be brought either to the Arcturian Love Healing and Ascension Temples and be offered a way of salvation, of forgiveness, of divine justice, or they're going to be taken to the courts of divine justice, you know, where we can look at this in detail. Your choice, please give them the choice, and then we ask this to be cleared now. Whatever we can be cleared, can be cleared without us having to look at the details. Please do so now. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. This may take quite a while to take. <laughs> we'll hold. And while this is going on, you know, very similar to having no power is, you know, being cursed of having no support, no followers, whether you are like a spiritual guru or a political opinion or a warlord leader or a scientist. Mm -hmm. So, have you been cursed like that? Yes or no? Did you curse others like that? Yes or no? And we like to have these cleared now, both sides of the fence and, you know, all the way into our ancestral bodies. Amen, amen, amen. Now another biggie, you know that people are get burdened down. This is no self-confidence. We could also call it an inferiority complex. <laughs> now, um, you know this low self-confidence can come from all kinds of reasons. You know, of course, in this lifetime, when your parents always put you down, you know, you can't do anything right, everything you do is wrong, you only get criticized, never praised, your self-confidence, you know, gets ruined. Or you get rejected all the time, whether it's in the dating game or wherever there's a choice, you know, team, teams, so to say, nobody wants to be with you. Or this can also be a curse to keep you humble. You, know, you may have been in one lifetime completely cocky bastards <laughs> that really rubbed it into everybody and then, you know, some wise person cursed you to experience low self-confidence. Or your own high self volunteered for, oh, let's have a life of low self-confidence so we can see how that is. Instead of too high of a self-confidence, making you cocky and errant, low self-confidence. That's one perspective. Uh, and another one would be... Um, uh, a, a curse. Mm -hmm. A curse onto you just to keep you down. And to keep you disempowered. You know, keep you away from public life. Mm -hmm. So, whatever it is, you know, um, are you affected by trauma like this? Yes or no? Did we affect others? And of course our ancestors, did they affect others with trauma like this? Yes or no? 
And many times these people with low confidence, self-confidence, were like servants or slaves. They were not even to look at their masters, you know, only you look to down, allowed to look down for privacy, so to say. Mm -hmm. Or they were wasted, you know, their life was just wasted. This cannot follow all that. You know, all these behavior create a low self-confidence. Are you affected by trauma like that too? Yes or no? Alright, so you like to have all that trauma cleared now, both sides of the fence. Um, um, um. Now another one, a more of those weird curses, is that no one will hear you. Now, um, you know why it would you be cursed like this? Well, um, you know, my, maybe somebody was stuck in a well and asking for help, crying for help, and you just didn't bother <laughs> and just walked away and left them there, and they probably cursed you. You know that nobody will hear you when you need help. But then there may be other things where, again, you know, nobody will hear you with your message. Because, let's say, the religious institution or political institution want to disempower you in future lifetimes. So you may not have any followers. Um, or, you know, I also have come across um, vows where people have abused their power, you know, or they thought they're doing the right thing, um, come across this lifetime of, uh, who was this in Ireland? Um, you know, he surrendered the weapons of the Irish to the British because they promised peace and then they got all slaughtered. Yeah, so uh, that person really regretted <laughs> to, um, you know, have been tricked and people that followed him, you know, ran to their doom, so to say. So these type of people uh, may do vows that nobody follows them, so they can't let them into doom. Mm -hmm. So, um, are you affected by vows and curses like this? Yes or no? Did you affect others by vows and curses? Yes or no? Alright, so you like to have this cleared now. Amen. Amen. And now we ask our spirit guides to tune our energy systems. All energies are spinning in toroidal form, so could say. And so we ask that everything be spun in our life in light of firm and direction. And that also we ask them to clear any connections and intrusions from false light realities and shadow realms all the way to the highest soul aspects. Amen, amen, amen. And he also asked that our ancestral bodies, that group consciousness, be cleared as much as possible. Amen, amen, amen. And, and, you know, wherever there is poo or blood, um, lice will attach to that. And so, similarly, um, we ask that any entities that have attached to our trauma, our wounds, our darkness, our curses, our implants, mm -hmm. we like to have those cleared. Amen, amen, amen. Send them to source. You know, source will know what to do with them. 
Oh, or, you know, they maybe they have been placed onto us by dark forces to sabotage and to disempower us. Yeah, so we like to have those dark forces brought to the courts of divine justice and, of course, whatever was put onto us, you know, cleared as much as possible right now. Um, um, um. And, you know, this not only extends to, like, what we consider magic, but also all kinds of binding devices like voodoo doll stuff, and vows, contracts, technologies, and also artificial intelligence influences and interferences. Please clear all these now, within and without us, that can be cleared without us personally having to witness it. Amen. Amen. We also ask that any karmic residue, leftovers, like dust and crumbles, that are stuck anywhere in the planetary and personal light grid bodies systems, no to be cleared. Amen. And then please open and guard those portals through which we can receive our support, our strength and guidance. And then start liberating our soul fragments that are still stuck in creation, especially the ones on the dark side, if possible. Amen. 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 And also bring our energies that have been scattered or taken you know, back to us and integrate it and ground us fully, you know, into our bodies now. Um, now we ask that we be flooded with the love and light of the Creator, of Gaia, of Milky Way Galaxy. Um, so coming in now, mm -hmm. so just inhale it and then if you want you can send your love back in all directions or you can just pack it into your spine and into your limbs. Smile like an idiot and breathe heavy. So heavy if somebody would be on an elevator with you that they feel uncomfortable. That's how heavy. And we also ask that our organs be filled with love all the way down to the cells and to the genetic code. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And we ask the spirit guides to update you know, our divine code now, to do security checks, Mm -hmm. to charge our different levels up after harmonizing them with each other and then protect us with the love and light of source mm -hmm. so no dark entities must even mess with us Amen. Amen. and if you wanted to go to sleep and pass out we ask that you have wonderful guiding and healing dreams and wake up completely refreshed. And if you have a day ahead of you or task, we ask that you be full of energy, enthusiasm, and completely connected you know, to the highest possibilities. Um, um, um. And one, two, three, you're back in vacant day consciousness. Um, Yeah, <laughs> you know, stay with that love. That's the greatest 
opulence I can you can have. <laughs> that love. All right, so please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you had any found experiences, please share them. I read all the comments and I will give answers. Um, now coming up um, are all the different video titles that are already there. Um, so you can look at them and see what resonates with you. And um, of course, I'm also available for personal session. You know, uh, not everything can be done by yourself. I mean, you wouldn't take a transmission for the car part by yourself and put it together. Right? So, um, you know, for when you're stuck or you need some extra help, you know, here I am. Um, information is there. Uh, just send me an email. And my prices are very reasonable still. I love you a long time. You have a wonderful, great day. Bye.